Hey yo guys, it's stupid fucking doge memes here and welcome back <laughs> Today's story is a uh, real doozy, oh boy. It's about the craziest shit I have ever taken. Grip both sides of the stall as we're getting into this shit. You see that? That was a pun. I made a joke. I made a joke! Now, something you need to know is that I think the bathroom is a holy place. Given to us by the great Hydra. See, Kel. Uh, and all who disagree shall be smoted by her. I don't know if that's the right way to say that. Let me also clarify your home bathroom is a holy place, and public restrooms are like the half retarded inbred cousin of the, ba of the home bathroom. Where I'm going with this, you'll see. So I wake up on one hot August Tuesday, and I can already feel that not all is well with the force. My stomach and my intestines are arguing over what is more cancerous, Donald Trump or Lance Armstrong's testicles. That was some bad taste. I wanted to go to the bathroom, but I realized that I was late for my job, and I, I did a lot of volunteer work at this time, so it wasn't really even a job, it was more just working for freebies. Come to think of it, never mind. <laughs> Um, so, regrettably, I ignored my bells and went to work. It was a five-hour job, you know, helping out farmers, and after my job, I started my way home. On my way home, the whole game changed. I felt something shift into maximum overdrive, and that something was either going in a toilet or in my pants at the moment. I stopped at the nearest gas station because what I had needed to be... What I had need to be released. I walked into this hot ass gas station restroom and took the farthest stall. Like, this place had a surprisingly big bathroom. For a gas station, at least. Like, I, I didn't understand it. It was a big ass bathroom. What are you gonna do about it? Um, farthest stall, but what I didn't realize was someone else in the stall next to me was talking on their phone, and he was taking his own dump. So, initially, I, I tried to wait for this guy to leave. Like, you know, I wanted to be courteous. I didn't want to scar this guy for life, you know? That, that'd be rude. That'd just be disrespectful. You can't do that shit to someone and, like, not take them to dinner first. That's just rude. So... Yeah, I, I waited for him for, like, a solid five minutes, because I couldn't hold it for that long. And this guy, he had a mother problem, where any time it was about to be like, you know, oh, hey, uh, yeah, all right, I gotta go. He'd just be like, no, really? Let me talk about that some more. So eventually, I, I, just, I just gave up. And so I gripped both sides of the stalls, and my butt just flapped in the breeze. It, it was like clapping. It was like the origination of twerking. It was just... Cries of Satan came from my beehole. And this this went on for a solid five minutes. This, this guy afterwards was dead silent. I mean, I would be too if, like... You know, you're just uh, taking a dump, having a normal conversation. You know, the pretty fucking normal shit. But then you just hear the cries of Satan from the stall right next to you. Like, that. that's not... That's not comforting. That's never comforting. So, just piles upon piles of shit just start flying into this toilet. Like, it's it's a horror movie at this point. And this guy is trying to run for his life. Like, it's he's fearful that he's going to die. And I don't blame him. Because... <sighs> Okay, to sum it up, he was rushing so fast, he was just rushing so much, dropped his phone into the toilet, got it out, had to reach into his shit-filled toilet, got it out, and didn't even rinse it off, ran away. I didn't even try to flush what monster I created. It was just that bad. <sighs> so yeah, that's a shit story. How do you like that? So, yeah, that's uh, story time number two. Um, 
yeah, if you guys uh, like these story times, uh, let me know, and uh, I'll try to keep making more for you. Love you. Alright, see you guys. Later.